Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got this really quick pepper soup recipe for you. It's goat meat and yam pepper soup. It is amazing, absolutely tasty and very easy to make. And without further ado, let's get on with it. For this recipe, we will be using some goat meat and here I've got some goat meat with skin. You can also use goat meat without skin, whichever one is available to you really. And to season, we will be using some stock cubes and some salt. You don't need to do too much with goat meat because it is quite flavorful on its own so don't don't be too carried away with the seasonings and i'm just going to massage this thoroughly into the meat and then cover and leave to marinate for about an hour you can do longer you can do overnight because that's going to help to build up flavors and at this time i'm quickly going to blend the ingredients for my pepper soup and here i've got some crayfish ginger onion garlic i've also got some calabash nutmeg um, you can also use some fresh udar seeds as well but they are already in the pepper soup spice but i just like to add a bit extra i've also got some scotch bonnet peppers and also going to add some water and then i'm going to cover and blend until smooth So here I've got a pan on medium heat and once it heats up I will go in with my marinated meats. And then I'm going to add the blender mix. And also I'm going to go in with some pepper soup spice and also some cameroon pepper you don't need to use cameroon pepper to be honest if you're already using scotch bonnet peppers but i need it to be quite hot that's why i'm using you know so much pepper in this so i'm just going to mix this thoroughly and then leave to simmer for about 20 minutes please do not add water while this time so this has been simmering for about 20 minutes and now it's time to add water please do not add too much water you need just enough to boil the meat and this is because you need your broth to be very concentrated because that's going to determine you know the you know the, the the taste of your soup so if it's you know if it's too watery then it means your pepper soup is going to be a bit weak if i'm allowed to use that word anyway so after that i'm just going to mix this thoroughly again and then taste for salt i haven't got enough salt i'm just going to add just a bit more cover and leave to cook until the meat soften so my meat has been boiling for about 30 minutes and it's about done. Um, I think it's about three quarters of the way now. So I'm just going to stir that again and then I will go in with my yam cubes. And this I'm going to stir thoroughly again and then cover and leave to cook until the yam soften. So it should be about the same time as when the meats are fully soft. So this has been cooking for about 15 minutes and now I'm satisfied with the doneness of the yam as well as the meats. And I'm just going to stir this again. And after mixing thoroughly, I will go in with my basil as well as my chopped peppers. I'm using basil instead of scent leaves, they are quite similar so that's fine to use. You can also use the dry ones that are sold in retail packaging. I think they've got um, scent leaves and ephyrine written on them, you can use those as well, that's fine. And I'm just going to add just a bit more of the basil and then just combine thoroughly again and then leave to simmer for about a minute or two. After a minute or two, the pepper soup is ready, it is ready to eat and as you can see it looks absolutely gorgeous. And that's the end of my recipe. So if you've enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.